Hey guys, Draco here, and today I just wanted to go over the Scorcher. This gun's one of my favorites, so I can't wait to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first I wanted to go over the Scorcher's strengths, which would be fighting Adamantans. Most of the Adamantan enemies are weak to explosive damage. Go over to Lightbots first. So they're weak to all kinds of explosive damage and headshots. You can shoot them anywhere with the Scorcher and you'll get a critical hit. The biggest problem you'll face is the jetpack bots will explode when you get close. Next up on the list we have Berserkers. Berserkers are the guys with the chainsaw hands. I would go for their heads. You can't reach their head or they're turned around. You can always go for chainsaws so that they can't eat you. You want to be extra careful with enemies that run up close to you because the Scorcher has explosive damage and if they get too close and you fire you will hit yourself and you can even kill yourself. Next enemy type is the Strider, the Walker type mechs. If you shoot the front of them, it won't pierce the shield, but the explosion will hit the bot on the other side and take out the Striders. Next up we have Shield Devastators. If you shoot them in the shield, it will ricochet, but if you aim for the head, the explosive damage will do a critical hit. You can also aim for the arm to disarm them, so they won't be able to shoot you anymore. You can shoot them anywhere and they'll still do damage. Next we have another variant of the Devastator, the Rocket Devastator. I tend to aim straight for the missile launchers, but you can also go for the head. Take out the missile launchers, it'll die. And the last variant of the Devastator would be the Heavy Devastator. Just like the Shield Devastator, you can go for the head, but also hitting them anywhere will hurt them. The next enemy would be the Tank. So the weakness of the tank will be the square vent on the back and the explosive damage from the scorcher can take out the tank when shot through the vent. Next enemy on the list is the Hulk. The Hulk has heavy armor plating which the scorcher can't penetrate from the front. You're best off trying to hit them in the solar panel in the back or using a stratagem. Our next enemy is the new gunships that come out of the fabricator. When you shoot them, it'll show that your bullets are ricocheting, but the explosive damage is doing damage to them. So if you keep shooting them with the Scorcher, you will eventually take them down. It might take a clip or two, but it will eventually go down. Next, I want to go over some of the weaker structures, like the Fabricators. They will ricochet your bullets, and even if you manage to get close, the Scorcher still won't blow up the Fabricator with the explosive damage. You're better off using a grenade or a stratagem. Now the last thing I want to go over is the cannon turret. The cannon turret has a vent just like the tank. If you shoot it from the back, you will destroy it after a while. Next thing I want to go over are the bugs with the Scorcher, which would be the Scorcher's bigger weakness compared to the automatons. Bugs have a lot of swarmers that will run up to you, and if you shoot them point blank, it will blow you up. However, if you shoot them from a little bit further away, you will actually take them out fairly quickly. Next up we have the Brood Commander. The Brood Commander's weakness is the head, and because of the explosive damage, when you shoot them in the head, it actually hits the body. This stops them from charging you headless. Next enemy on the list is a Stalker. The Stalker takes a ton of head damage from the Scorcher. Up next is a Charger. It has heavy plating on the front, unless it gets blown off. Go for the legs. If not, go for the butt. Next up is the Ball Spear. You're going to want to shoot them in the sack to make them explode. Last but certainly not least, we have the Bile Titan. The Bile Titan is completely heavily armored, unless you, it's been hit by an explosive. I would go for any exposed parts or underneath the shell. You'll find two sacks that you can explode with a primary gun. This won't kill the Titan, but it could finish it off if it was already weakened or soften it up for an ally stratagem or your own stratagem. Even a well-placed rocket will take it out after you weaken it up a little bit with your Scorcher. Next up I want to go over the terminal structures. You will not be able to destroy a bug hole no matter how many times you shoot with the explosive damage from the Scorcher. When it comes to Shriekers, the Scorcher won't do any damage to their nests, it'll just ricochet off. You're going to need a stratagem or some kind of explosive. The next structure up on the list is the Spore Spewer. You actually can destroy this with the Scorcher. Just shoot it a couple times and it'll be destroyed and you can see the map again. Some bonus tips that I have for you guys with the Scorcher. 
is if you have dynamic aim on, this gun is actually really good in first person. You can see the recoil, it's not very high. And if you crouch, especially if you're in or that reduces your recoil, you'll have hardly any recoil. And again, if you go low, it's even better. Now, besides that, if you hold R on PC, you get a flashlight. You can turn it on auto, on, or off. This is really useful in the dark areas of the map, and it can also let you see through smoke a little bit. And the last thing is, you see this laser? You see the laser sight? You can use that to help you aim, and your allies can also see this laser, and they'll try to avoid it, usually, if they know what it is. So that can help with uh, not hitting people with friendly fire. And I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. If you want to see more content, I'm going to put out more of these guys soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.